Hey everybody, welcome to another market update. Coming to you today on June 14th. Looking forward to giving you some of these numbers. That's gonna blow your mind, but I'm really excited for it. So we'll start off a little bit with some of the cities around my office. And then we're gonna go into some, a little deeper dive into some of the other numbers that we're starting to see. So for Castleberry, for this past week, so ending on July, June 13th, um, we have total active 13, pending 20, sold five, with a median sales price of 307.5. In Oviedo, 20 active, 27 pending, 24 sold, median of 383,250. So as you can tell from those numbers, we still have more pending than active, hence heavy seller's market. And Winter Park area, 16 active, 34 pending, 32 sold, at a median price of 416,250. Same scenario. And then when you look at Orlando, we're looking at 332 active, pending 415, and sold 257 for a median price of $320,000. So again, still a very seller's market across the board. Uh, this is pretty much unprecedented from what we've seen in the real estate market anytime recently in anyone's lifetime, to be honest. So now we'll compare some of the counties. Let's look at Summerhill County and Orange County. So in Summerhill County, 161 active this past week. Pending, we have 206 and 133 sold with median sales price of 325. And guess what? Six days. That was your median days on market. Six days. Homes go active, they go sold. So homes shouldn't be lasting much longer. In Orange County, 469 were active, pending were 607, 371 sold, median sales price 338, with the days on market being eight days. So again, still very, very fast. Now, some different numbers than what I brought up last week, but some people asked, can you give us some information for Lake County or other counties that you might service? Sure, definitely can do. Um, and if there is anything that you want me to share when I do these weekly updates, please drop a comment and I'll make sure to try to add or incorporate it in there for you. So let's take a good look at this one. In Orange County, um, for the month of June, so far this month, they've had 792 sold, 345,000 is the median sales price. Now Seminole County sold was 301, while the median sales price is $333,000. Uh, Lake County sold is $291,000 with $289,000 as the median sales price. And in Volusia County, $241,000 have sold with $255,000 as the median sales price out in that county. So the market's going up, up, and up. So if you're a homeowner, it's a great time. If you're wanting to buy a home, definitely get on it now because there's no better time. Now, these next numbers I'm gonna go over with you is kind of a comparison month over month based off May, since we have a full month of data in May, just to share with you and give you an approximation. And it just tells you how great of a market that we're in. So in Orange County, May 2020, we sold 1,291 homes, median sales price is $284,000, and days on market was 20. Well, in May 2021, we've increased that number by 71% for homes sold. So we're actually at 2220 homes sold in May of 2021, year over year. And the median sales price in Orange County has gone up 14.5% almost. So last year you could sell your home for 284 on average. This year, they're going for 325. So it's kind of mind-boggling if you think about it. In Seminole County, the increase year-over-year year for homes is about 10%. And then in Lake County, it's even 9.96%. And then in Volusia County, Wowzers, 17.8%. Even better, the days on market year-over-year year has decreased by about 50, 60, and even almost 75%, depending on the county. So these are all great numbers. So what does this tell me? Well, first off, data is data. People can spend it however they want. 
but this just shows the type of growth that we're seeing in our real estate market from 2020 to 2021. Um, the one thing to be cautious of is sold homes in May of 2020 might be a little bit less than what we're used to. And the reason for that is remember in Florida, we hit our quarantine into April and the real estate market kind of paused a little bit with graphs show the little hiccup um, and then we just shot off. And May was the first month that we started to shoot off and homes started coming back live. People decided, I wanna sell my home, I'm not gonna let a pandemic or COVID hold me down. So one rule of thumb just to look at on there. It'll be interesting to see how in about next month, about this time, when I review the June numbers, to see if they have the same uh, kind of jumping off point as we've already been out a month at that point. But the one thing it does tell you is ask yourself, if you want to grow your family's wealth, there's no better, safer engine to do so than in home ownership. Because, I mean, put this money in the bank account and tell me, how much interest are you going to be getting on that money? Probably not double digit returns that you're getting on here. Um, another thing that I always hear, which these stats kind of prove it, is we're in a bubble, we're gonna crash. We hear that all the time. Well, guess what? You're wrong. We are not in a bubble. This market is currently being taken care of basically by free market principles, law of supply, law of demand. We don't have enough supply, we have way too much demand. So the only thing that could happen is prices go up, okay? Um, and it's also gonna be driven a little bit with inflation that's uh, working its way into our economy right now. So this is not a bubble. I know many say, well, because we're coming out of the pandemic, we're gonna start seeing forbearances go away. And when we see the forbearances go away, what's gonna end up happening is we're gonna have a lot of foreclosures. But here's a question, why? People foreclose on their home because they don't have an option outside of the bank taking back possession. Most people nowadays, they have the built-in equity in their home. With that built-in equity in their home, why would you give it up to the bank when you could just sell it? The market's gonna have itself fast. And in fact, here's another fun fact. Most interest rates on average, probably before the pandemic, you're looking at four to 5%. So we got 10% year over year return. For those people on forbearance, if they are in a situation where they have to sell, their home just grew 10% versus the 5% interest they had to pay for the bank. So when you take that into account, they're making money on forbearance because their property value is going up so fast. So we might see some that'll hit the market, but it's gonna be a rarity, okay? This isn't gonna be a foreclosure market. Um, we're in good conditions in the housing market. So I hope this helps you guys. And I'll see you guys next Monday for my next installment of our market update. Thank you all.